in this particular lecture we are going to discuss the various types of organizational structure in previous lecture we discussed what organization is then the purpose we are establishing organization now we are going to discuss the types of organization there are various types of organizations we will discuss here one by one as you see there are line organization line and staff organization the functional organizations again you will go through the horizontal and then specialized in a Swiss slide we will discuss as well what is geographical what is product market combinations they are based on. now we start with the line organization what is line organization if I talk about the line line means the main the main person who is responsible for a particular activities since here we are talking about the sales organization so definitely the line organization means the line managers the line executives who perform sales and the, all the activities which is related to the sales management so line means the main person involved in a particular activities if I talk about the marketing activities so line means all those who are responsible for the marketing activities that is a part of line organization what is line and staff organization is it mandatory that if I'm a line manager I can do all the activities for example I'm a sales manager my duty is to sell the product and achieve target but if I talk about understanding need of the customer if I talk about the latest trends in the business environment can I yes I can but I cannot if I cannot then definitely I will have to make depend on the market researcher because the duty of the researcher will be to understand what exactly customer wants so when we understand what customer wants only then we can give a customer of give a product of customers choice so line and staff means the person who supports you the person who supports you or advise you to do a particular thing I'm a sales manager I need training for my people sales people if I'm not in the position to give training so naturally I will have to take help from the people who are well versed in giving training to the salesperson so if I am taking help from the training manager if I'm taking help from the marketing researcher basically they are a line of staff they are although they are not directly responsible for achieving sales target but remember they play a very important role in achieving sales target so when we talk about the main part that is a line part and when we talk about the supportive part that is your staff line and staff part so one is your line organization and another is a line and a staff organization well the third one is so the functional organization what do you mean by functional basically the functional organization means you focus on a particular specialization each specialist if I am a marketing specialist I have a functional responsibility where my duty is to direct and control all marketing executive through super various through various through following various uh, channels that that you know there's a pyramid shape channels that I will have to follow if I am a specialist in a sales so again I have my functional responsibility to direct give direction make coordination motivating controlling the salesperson with the help of my superior so when we talk about the functional organization basically first functional organization is it gives focus on the 
principle of specialization. Already we discussed specialization in previous lectures, so there is no need to discuss in detail. Now, these three parts we already discussed, the line organization, the line and staff organization, and the functional organization. Now again there are a horizontal structure and a specialized structure. This is a line sales organization structure. Here head is marketing, beneath marketing sales manager, then area sales manager, then might be depends upon uh, the, the, uh, the how wide your business is. There could be one area sales manager, do, there could be more than one. So depends upon the availability of your product in market, depend upon how how well diversified your business is. And under area sales manager, there are various uh, sales force. Fine. Now, when we talk about the functional, yes, head marketing, and, and we all know the day has gone when we talk about uh, sales means only selling. No. Because when we talk about the marketing, basically these all are a part of the marketing. Even service, giving service to your customer, sales, promote your brand with the help of various uh, techniques like advertising, your sales promotion, public relation, publicity, and, uh, and your, your research, which again we discussed is a very important part. So this is a part of the functions. Each and every person are specialized in the particular area. So marketing person, the head of the marketing will definitely need help from the people who are specialized in the research, promotion, sales and services. This is the functional sales organization. Now sales relation with other marketing activities. As we discussed, sales doesn't mean only you have to sell. There are various activities which you have to do apart from the sales. These are the supporting activities which supports you in selling your product. The one is advertising, very important part. You are going to tell your customer with the help of advertising what your product is, how the product is going to help you. How Whatever your problem is, how the, your problem will be solved that you tell through with the help of the advertising. Research, again, there are various things which you have to do. You have to forecast, you have to understand the problems related to the market, related to the customers, your, your, your potentials, how you are going to solve that one. So you are going to solve everything, every problem with the help of the research. SCM, supply chain management. Your product will be available to the right customer at the right time, at the right place. That is possible only with the help of SCM, supply chain management. Human resource, most important part. Who will do all the activities? starting from procuring raw material till uh, getting the product in the hand of customer definitely it every activity will be done by the human resource so again most important relations between sales and human production what you are going to sell definitely a finished goods which is a result of the production whilst making your product you will need a lots of money lots of finance Without that, you cannot sustain. In advertising, you, you need money. In production, you need money. In SCM, you need money. In human resource, you need money. So everywhere you need money. So there is again a strong relation in sales and finance. Because finance department is all about the money department. 